How's it going YouTube? Welcome back to another video on the channel. Today we're doing something that I haven't done in a while because right now it's national prep season for nationals, right? Uh, and I'm get, trying to grind DB as much as possible, which means that I get a lot of replays in return. So here it is, another gameplay review, and there's probably going to be a lot of these in this season. Before we begin, like the video, subscribe, comment down below if you are interested in more of these gameplay reviews. And let's start breaking this down. I win the die roll, go first. This is the hand tragedy, opening, puppet, allure, and deployment. In this series, I'll try to explain the plays that I'm making in addition to what plays I could have done that I haven't, right? So talking about misplays, talking about everything that is in between, let's uh, kick this off. So starting off in the main phase, the probably the first thing you would want to do here is one of two things because you don't really have a starter at the moment. So Allure with Tragedy is awesome. You're not really playing around Droll in the main. Even if you do get Drolled, because you drew, drew the Fusion Deployment, I think you're going to be fine here. So it is fine to start with Allure because it doesn't kill the Fusion Deployment. It's the only line of play that you actually have. Your first, If your first search can't be Branded Fusion, then you just play into Droll, and that, that is how you play the deck. We draw into a Cartesia and a Mercurier, which is fine because we can get access to Fusion Deployment otherwise. And we start off with Deployment, some of the Cartesia, Normal Summon the Aluber here. Now, what do you search for here? You either search for Branded Fusion, but this is one of those hands that kind of loses to ash immediately and you don't really have another play so if i search for branded fusion here with luber and i get ashed i pretty much pass i can fuse with cartesia and puppet send titanic lad quam that could also work right um but it's probably a little bit safer to just go for branded opening to guarantee the quam here right so discarding the puppet that way we can already get it to the graveyard. Retribution. Now here I kind of wanted to play. I was like, okay, he probably might not have like a Valor or an Imperm. And yeah, I think this turn one was kind of a misplay when I look at it now. Because we could have easily have gotten to a different state of play here. Right? Search for Branded Fusion, get Ashed if we do. I'm not even sure if... The opponent has Ash. And then, if not, then we can maybe make a Grand Gignol, but it loses to Valor and Ash, right? So, we kind of end on a pretty... kind of a bad setup, to be honest. The normal summon Albaz. Now, here, because of the Valor, this automatically got us thinking that this is not branded, this is actually Voiceless Voice, because you wouldn't see Valor in in a deck like this so what can you do here my bet was that they're gonna take the cartesia obviously right because they're gonna use a light and if i chain the cartesia here then they get an immediate mirror jade but i get a quen from the deck because i can trigger grand Guignol. and now with the ash cost that's for sure not branded right two hand traps there's no way then they use this making an albion which is really weird that they just didn't go for the mirror jade automatically but i can activate granguignol and finally get the 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 albas to the graveyard right because i have another quem this is why you play two quem obviously more than one now this is already puppet lock right here right from unplayable board immediately just chaining the cartesia on time to make sure the granguignol resolves like this mirror jade is not going to do anything versus the puppet um, yeah, so we send Albaz here, then Rez. If they have the, nothing, it's over. We activate the Quem to summon back the Cartesia for follow-up. And um, here's another misplay. Putting Albion in attack means that we give them an out to blow up the entire board. Which is fine. It's not bad. We, we still win next turn because we have so much follow-up. But... I usually try to summon everything in defense. Just summon everything in defense. Most of the time, 95% of the time, it's just gonna be better. 
Um, we have another negate. We don't negate that. We can't negate this because this is damage step. We get our field blown, brand infusion, and we don't really have a lot to push here. This can't be used as fusion material, but because there's a puppet here, I want to go for a play that brings back the Albion, right? So I play a little bit of a convoluted line here. So just to show you, there's so much, like, so many lines of creativity that you can go in, which is, you know, not every time that's obvious. Now, another small misplay here, when I activate the Cartesia, I should have summoned this to the extra monster zone because you do need like two zones for this action that I'm gonna do. Now, Grand Neal one, lost two, I grab Kit here, right? Because I wanna, I don't have any more Quems in the deck. I have one that is banished, one that is in the graveyard. So how do we put the Quem back in the deck so we can actually get to it? and then summon the Albion through it. Now we bring, we put it back into the deck with, with Quem. We said this, and basically now we don't have a zone, but we can mirror jade our own monster just to remove it. But we still have so much gas on the field that is gonna be fun. And we have Retribution, which is live and can also clear out another um, slot on the board. So that's game one, kind of messy, kind of like, getting the rust off from not having a big tournament in a little while but yeah now this this is an exceptional hand right against voiceless because you have a way to force you have a way to negate right versus a standard board that's fine but they have prosperity they pick up the dimensional barrier thankfully we have cartesia cartesia and this is why probably like currently i'm playing it at two probably gonna play it at three it's the main way in which you can play around the barrier because when you have Cartesia, you can play on your opponent's turn and fusion summon. If you have access to that, like fusion deployment here for Albaz, Cartesia, pass turn, you can actually play a lot during your opponent's turn and you can make something happen. You can make a Sanctifier, Sanctifier, bring back Albaz, fuse, make a Mirror Jade, remove bodies from the field, get up. Like you, you can survive, right? So we have deck lockdown here which this is what I said about Droll in the beginning. The deck doesn't usually lose to something like a deck lockdown or um, Droll, but sometimes it does and th that could happen. Cause here like Brian Fusion is unaffected by deck lockdown, but Lubelion is, you know, summoning like in the end phase with something like a Titanic Lad. It doesn't usually lose. So we get Ashed here. The Ash, because they know we can chain Cartesia, which is what we try to do, so they can chain this. This is why they play it like that. Now, basically, we set two and pass. They are under deck lockdown themselves. It's kind of a futile scenario. Main phase, I try to activate, go for a Grand Gignol. And this was a huge misplay here. If this was Albion, that would have actually been quite good because I forgot that I can't um, add or summon from the deck. So Albion can set a brand fusion during the end phase, which is which is good. So this was definitely a misplay. I let it go through. Cartesia during the end phase, they don't negate. And I draw Ash. Same thing, Cartesia, this one blows up. Now they are free to start playing, you know? Low. There's no reason to scoop yet. <laughs> because of, of this Grand Gignol, Right? Because of this Grand Gignol, it does give us hope. Because we can get Wham to get Albaz. The SPS here, which is great because we're not going to be dead. Um, I just try to force out some interaction. They have a Deber and a deck lockdown. It doesn't really matter, right? Uh, this doesn't trigger, but, you know, two deck lockdown, 2D barrier. Couldn't play that any better because they just had the out to, to everything. Game three, now this gets a little bit technical and this is where you have to be creative with your plays. Um, good hand. And if you want the deck list, I'm gonna post it really soon. And it is playing cross out on the side and I think the cross out on the side is, is really, really good right now. Not only for Ash, actually mainly for D-Barrier, right? Cause you can play D-Barrier as a thrust target. Allure, sucks that we have to manage the Albaz, but we have plays. High Spirits, Pitch Pitch, Search for Quem. This was 
a bit weird here to get the Titanic land. Um, I'll explain when we get to the end phase. Like, why would I send Titanic Lab to search a Quem, right? Because Quem right now brings me the most value. I could have searched for a kit or a Mercurier also, right? But I wanted this because Branded Fusion on its own um, with Quem can just summon a Cartesia from the deck, basically. So this is what I do. Um, I get Valored. I get Ashed on the Branded Fusion. I do chain block. You are able to chain block with Quem, even though it's negated, just to not get belled or something like that, because voices can actually be playing bell. And then I make a Lubelion, discard, make a Mirror Jade. And again, kind of a weird line that doesn't really. I mean, if I get Valored on the Quem, why would I go for Cartesia in the Grave? Like, why not Lubelion? Would have been much, much better, because then I can actually get this Albion into the graveyard, but I don't. End phase, I get Quem, another huge misplay, because this should have been Albaz, because during my opponent's turn, I can actually fuse, like I'll probably be able to get this back on the field with Quem, right? And then fuse and I have an Albaz in play, I can make another Mirror Jade, I can make Sanctifier, right? So it just gives you a lot more options while this doesn't actually give you anything. So remember, like in this place, I think this was a very badly played turn one. Like this is how you this is how you learn from mistakes, basically. So Sephira, that's fine. Ritual is fine. Sephira to activate, it's absolutely okay. Now that would have been great if we had a Granganol here. Chain one, chain two. And another questionable play here. I can't believe I won this. I played this like every single play was wrong. <laughs> every single play that I'm looking at it was just wrong. I sent a Rinburm here. Why? Like, why? I don't know. I'm not sure. But it actually paid off. It did win me the game in the long term. So it's fine. Um, then they can get the ritual summon to the ritual spell to, to banish and summon back the, the ritual. Which is okay, and now they have Blessing, which is so good it can just add back Skull Guardian from Banished, you know. So it was definitely questionable, but I'm feeling good about this board, right? I'm feeling very good about this board. The attack, attack, they leave it on the field now. I'm sure they're going to go into Dynamondo to bounce back my Mirror Jade, but they bounce back the Albion for some reason. I'm not really sure why it was the Albion. And then they set a card. It's a Cosmic. This board is definitely fine to deal with. Draw phase, we're going to get low to place the trap which i'm not really going to care about so cartesia comes back to hand and high spirits comes back to hand and draw phase now this is a quick play in the draw phase but you do have priority to activate these effects so i want to make sure like my top priority here there's going to be a trap card being placed in a second by low i need branded opening in the graveyard before that happens so this is what I do. And this can also, of course, grab me a Luber and get everything started here, which they negate. And this is why you play two of the, um, this is why you play two of Granginol, because you need to be able to send one if you need to with high spirits. So they chain this and I send the Quem because I know I'm going to, I'm not going to be normal summoning the, this Quem, right? Even though like, Albion the Shrouded could have been fine here because of Branded Fusion in the Graveyard. But let's see what I, what I had in mind. So this is what I have here, low summons. And then I can get Granganiol to get Quirtus. Now, I know this is probably not like, this could be an Imperm, right? But there's nothing really going on on the field here. Yeah? I have a Quirtus to zero out the Skull Guardian. These don't do anything, and if I want to, I can force this, and if they want to pop, then that's great. I can either trigger the Quiritus or protect it with the opening. So I have every right here to just force battle phase. And they let it go through, end main, I attack, attack, clear the board. Obviously, they have follow-up here, right? But, let's see what happens. So I just go into Sanctifier here, which definitely makes sense because I'm able to just control the board here. Now, if this would have been, I mean, I'm not sure what Branded Fusion would have done 
like I have good interruptions still. This, remember, this can also be used as an interruption, right? They're going to have like add one, add one, add one, or summon one. It's going to be really strong during the next turn. Um, but from here, I know that I can actually gimmick puppet. And with Rinbrim in the grave now, that's paying off. This is why I search for the Albas here, right? So during the end phase, they're going to add. I'm going to put back just to have a discard in the hand. They're going to add back, bounce back, and then blessing to add low. Like this is, they have, they had like no cards in hand and now they have five. It's crazy. The ritual summon. I let it go through, right? Now, here, this is basically what's going to happen. What's the plan here? The plan is to fuse with the low, Albaz and low, to make um, this, discard this, make a Granganiel, Granganiel send puppet, summon back, lock. This is the plan. How do we achieve that? We have a pop that can pop the, we have a pop that can pop the Albaz, and they have a negate. So we need to start by baiting the negate and banishing something, right? And since they have the ritual spell, it might be a little bit hard. So we go Mirror Jade, they don't negate it, and then I chain Brimbrum. Now we banish this, and now on res, they have this, but I'm gonna have Albaz here, and they don't have a way to pop. This, is, this was the plan, right? So they don't get low, and they're not going to be able to negate. And this Skull Guardian that they summon here is not going to be able to have a negate, right? So we do this, Albion. Now they don't have a negate and they only have a pop, which really doesn't matter. They can quick fuse, uh, ritual. And then we can get Cranginiel, pop it. Um, they activate the effect to summon. And yeah, basically this was a, like a very creative puppet. I think this is like me getting off the rust from like probably like a month not being super competitive and like testing and grinding. I'm trying to get back into it. DB is not like the perfect way to do it, but I'm definitely trying. And yeah, a lot of misplays. Would like to hear your thoughts in the comments below. I think this is how we learn and develop and get the, the rust off the our sleeves. Thank you so much for watching. Like the video, subscribe. I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.